Okay, so as you know by the title of this video, this is my last morning, last day in India. Very sad. It's actually quite emotional. But you know there's one thing that I have to do before we go. Let's get a chai. You coming? Yeah, it's good to eat. Oh, I found one. You don't want one? Not a one. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Can I have one? One tea? Thank you. No, you, you keep that one. It's okay. No, you keep it. All right, we got. It's our last. You gonna get back here? No, no, you have it. You have it for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's our last day, so I'm not gonna take coins with me anyway. Yeah. But we have a uh, little tea here, and oh my gosh, this one's so good. This one tastes like, this one's really sweet. It tastes like the ones that my mum makes me at home. My, my tea with my mum at home. This is like really sweet. Waterloo Street. We're on Waterloo Street. There you go. The best one in Kolkata. Best chai. <laughs> tea. Best tea. Mmm. That's a good last one to have. It's very sweet. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, bye. So it's so hot in Kolkata that my camera is blurry and fogging up. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about my thoughts on India and my experience here at the airport or a little bit later on. Um, but until then, we have to get to the airport. It's okay, we, it's just Don't worry, don't worry. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Come back again, please. Of course, lovely stay. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, take care. Yeah. I don't want to leave. Yeah, I know, it feels like that. Mm. Oh, bye. <laughs> so we're in the car and we're just driving through the streets of Kolkata and I feel like emotional a little bit. It feels sad. It feels weird to be leaving I mean, India. We're, we're, not, we're not gone forever. No, we're not. We'll come back and we're going to get into that a little bit later on. So don't worry, but it still feels weird leaving feels somewhere I've been weird. for three months. Little pony at the back. Yeah, little tiny pony horse. For reference, we haven't even been in our own homes for more than one month in the last two years. So yeah, so this, this is one of the longest places, if not the longest. This place is the longest been. place besides Thailand that we've stayed yeah. in traveling. Heavy. Thank you. That was for you. Thank you so much. Okay, well, we're traveling through the airport. We're through the front gate, the front door, and then we're just looking to check our bags. And it is so weird to think we're going to be in a different country after spending so long here. Let's catch this plane. Okay, so apparently we need an onward ticket. Look at the five days you deal with it. We always do. We just jump off. So we've been traveling for how long and we still made a travel mistake. India has the most annoying and hard security lines uh. ever. I mean ridiculous as in one time I went through security, Michael went through the mail line security, then the lady was talking to me and then he came to meet me and then she demanded to look through his bag again even though he'd already gone through security. Then she took something from his bag in the female line. So anyway, I understand why you have to be strict, but there's no reason why you can't be nicer. So we have literally two places to choose from for food, if that, and domestic has all of the places for coffee and food. And there's nothing on our side. Cheese. <laughs> okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. All right, well, three, Three to four months of traveling India and it is so strange to be leaving. I feel like this is the longest that we've stayed in any other place, any other country besides Thailand and we were actually stuck in there for a while because of the pandemic. So this is the place that we've chosen to be for this long and it's crazy. India is full of surprises. If you are coming to India or if you are a traveler planning to visit India, I highly, highly recommend getting out of just the Golden Triangle. That's Delhi, Agra, and Pink City of Jaipur. There's so much more to India than just that. As you can see from us visiting so many Ooh, tiny yeah, Indian yeah. village towns and meeting some local Indian deities, <laughs> grandmas, um, meeting some local Indians who invited us into their homes. And I just don't feel like you get that personable or genuine, authentic experience if you're stuck in the places where all the tourists travel. Almost want to say that I don't think you've come to India if you've only seen those three places, because it's just so different in so many other places around India. And we went to so many. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even remember them all. 
back in Amritsar in Punjab that seems like so long ago to the blue city of Jodhpur, to the pink city of Jaipur, Indore, Pushkar, Chennai, Tamil Nadu <laughs> down there yeah, yeah. and in Munnar and Kochi, Ahmedabad, Hyderabad. We went to so many places and there's just so much more to do. I feel like we ran out of time. It's been a great ride meeting so many amazing people and so much support on my channel. Like thank you so much you guys. I don't I always say I'm appreciative of, of my subscribers and everything, but I don't think you really realize how appreciative I am. If you've hit that subscribe button, if you've watched my videos, if you've watched my shorts, if you're watching this long video, thank you so much. Um, you've really made India a place to remember for me. So thank you so much for your support on my channel. India's been really cool. So on the way to India, when we were coming here, we actually were only going to stay for one month. Ended up extending our stay from one month to three or four. And we still haven't done everything. So don't think that this is goodbye. This is just, we have to leave for now. <laughs> We've got so much more that we want to do. And there's just so many things that I wanted to do in this trip that I've just run out of time to do. And we just couldn't get to doing within the time frame. My oh, eye infection you. and I lost my vision in my <laughs> eye. My eye was so blurry that we had to cut some of our trip out from the northeast of India too. So I want to go back and I want to do more of the northeast. So let me know in the comments below what else do I have to do when I come back to India because we've already started the list. We didn't do this on purpose but look what's that we are 12 hours away from breaching our visa by accident. <laughs> We made it by 12 hours for 90 days. Very short flight. It takes only about an hour to Dhaka to Bangladesh. Jesus Christ. What the f? Identify card. Okay, Oh, hi. How are you, ma'am? Do you want to be on it? Hi. Hello, hello. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. So even though we are leaving India, we have obviously some more adventures around your region. So I hope you keep watching. We'll be back. We'll be back. It's not goodbye. It's just we'll see you soon. Are you right? Yeah, <laughs> No, you're not. Thirty. Two. <laughs> so I've left this one a little bit late, but I'm trying to learn some. Bengali before we before we land. Oh, oh my. What is that? Bye, thank you. We're here. Get our bags and we have to go through immigration as well. First time for a while. It's so hot. It is hot, isn't it? If there is only one toilet, that's not a hit smart toilet. Okay, we had a little bit of problem with oh mine's over there. Mine's over there. We had a little bit of problem with the um, visa on arrival. We read that it was uh, USD currency only, but that wasn't true. You can pay by your card, but it also didn't accept our USD that we had changed the other day. So I think we just lost a hundred USD we have we're not American so we just exchange for this that's all we have and we're not American so we can't use that anywhere <laughs> let's see what Bangladesh is better let's see what Bangladesh is like only cash okay how much is the 40 gigabyte so I'm trying to set us up with SIM cards, but the two ATMs here in this area aren't taking international cards, so we can't get money out um, to use here in Bangladesh at, just yet. So Michael's gone for a walk. By the way, the options are Grameen phone, which is what we're getting, Teletalk SIM, which is green, and then there's Airtel over here as well, which is what we used in India. Um, but Michael read that the Grameen phone was the best one, so we're just going to go with them this time. How much was it? 1150, 1150. Tucker per person for 40 gigabytes, but it was only like 800 or something if you wanted less gigabytes. Okay. If you don't need it. Right. Ooh, pretty. Mmm, different. You him. Thank you. All right, while we're looking for an Uber to take us to where we're staying, we saw that the Ubers don't take card payments and they've actually been accepted to start again two days ago 
but start for a month's time. So if you're coming to Bangladesh a month from now, you'll be fine to pay online with Uber. <laughs> so another interesting thing is that the number plates on the Ubers or the cars are in Roman Arabic. They're not in Roman Arabic. They're not in Roman Arabic. What are they? Oh, Bengali. So you have to sort of like look up a table and match it to what it looks like on the app. Finding a taxi or your Uber might be a little bit harder. Hotel name? In hotel? Huh? In hotel? In hotel. Oh, upside down. Oh, the the, yeah. Okay, so we're staying at the Inn Hotel and it's about 60 Australian a night, which I think is about like 40 US or something. We looked put on booking.com, but I wonder what it'll look like when we get to the actual room. We're about to find out. Okay, it actually took quite a long time to check in for some reason. I don't know. We're talking about booking.com and the things and then the... they're trying to get us to pay here or not there. Not in a bad way. They just, I think they're trying to get around that. But anyway, this is the room. So we have a, a fridge and a thing a desk a very small desk but it just kind of goes um straight through here for a bed does it feel good oh it's really soft yeah it's really soft and then you got two little places to sit there with a bathroom there you go this isn't sponsored or anything i'm just showing you where i'm staying but honestly we are both a little bit wrecked and because it got dark real quick we might just go to sleep get some food and then we'll show you a little bit of where we are tomorrow and then in the next video we'll show you like all of old ducca right we'll go check out the craziness of old ducca which i've heard is insane but yeah we'll go to sleep and then you don't have to wait very long because pretty much right now you're going to see where we're staying we're staying here the area we're staying in oh right yeah Okay, I forgot to also mention I got the price wrong. It wasn't 60 a night, it's actually like 80. So that's actually a lot more expensive than I thought. Okay, so this is our first sort of walk out here in Dhaka. We're staying in the area um, called Banani, which I think is cute because it sounds like banana. So we're here and we've got a few things on the side of the road. It's cool to see some, like still some street food here. Now this is sort of more of a built up or like new part of Bangladesh. Heads of businesses are here, things like that. So it is probably gonna be a lot different in the next video when we go to other parts of Bangladesh. Dhaka. Of Dhaka. <laughs> so make sure you do subscribe. Two differences, I've seen that there's like cages on the side of these rickshaws, these auto rickshaws and things like that. It's super hot. It is like humid heat here. I don't know, we've probably just got a bad day or something. I don't know, it feels similar to India but also different. It's a big Muslim religion here so it's gonna be a little bit different anyway but it just it feels a little bit different but also similar at the same time. There are a few things of yeah, food yeah. on the side. Chicken. Oh chicken? Oh, it's okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's so helpful. That is so helpful isn't it? I've actually honestly we've only been here for like a day or less and than a day. We're in this specific area. Yeah but everyone's so helpful for us so far. Yeah. So let's see if we can find anything else street food. I think we'll find more in our next video when we go more into another part of Dhaka to be honest with you. But this is cool. These are everywhere. These little like uh, rickshaws but they're like a bike rickshaw. Yeah. Um, they're everywhere. They stop for us all the time. <laughs> and they leave us alone when we say no. We've got fried chicken. I don't know what else. Oh, I've seen lots of these like fruit things. I don't know what, I don't know what kind of fruit it is. Hi, what is this? Gra gra grapes? Insu. What's that? <laughs> Sweet. Sweet? Sweet. Okay, I'll see Is it spicy? No, it's just a berry. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, it's a bit. <laughs> Do you like that? Do you like that? No. No? No, it's okay. Right, no, thank you, man. <laughs> I don't like it much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, big seed. Oh, it's like purple. My finger. Yeah. Oh, I'll show you. Do you have a phone? Hi. Australia. Australia. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Australia. Australia. <laughs> this is it, but that's it if you can remember. It's it. hard to remember. Josie lifts things. Yeah. I'm a subscriber. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hi. YouTube. Yeah. What's up? 
No. Oh, we're not going for a ride. It's all right. Thank you. <laughs> I thought he wanted to see my channel. That's me. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's go. Oh, I didn't really, I didn't really like that that fruit thing at all actually <laughs> it had a good first taste and then it the second taste wasn't as nice as the first taste that rickshaw driver he what? asked to see the phone because he thought we were showing people where we were going oh. but it, it, this is the funny thing it was Josie's YouTube channel and he, he like grabbed the phone had a look and he was like oh yes that's up here 300 <laughs> Did he? And it was your YouTube channel. It was channel. my YouTube channel. <laughs> it wasn't even a location. Um, I feel bad for tasting that fruit and not buying any, but I, I didn't like it. It was really, yeah. Not, it, it tasted like, <laughs> like a sour grape. This is what I mean about the um, the like door, doors and all of these as well. And actually, when we were on the way in, um, we stopped at a light and someone tried to open our door as well. So maybe that's why, I don't know. So everyone stopped. Hello. Hi. <laughs> everyone stopped for Friday prayer right now. So I'm just kind of going to be a little bit quiet. Still people buying things. So let's see if they'll serve me. So this is what I was looking at the pineapple. Hi. <laughs> but I don't want spice in it. So let's see if I can ask for no chili. No? Hi. Hi. So I'll try and get some pineapple. Oh, I want no chili. No spice. No more mango. No, no chili. Too hot. Ha ha ha. Can I get just just pineapple? Pineapple, right? Yeah, yeah. Can I do that? Hi. Uh, can I have pineapple? Mm. No chili. No chili. No chili. Taste, taste. I can taste, it's yeah, okay. but no, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. not hot. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Bangladesh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. How, how much? Okay, only 20, only 20. 20? Only 20. Okay. Okay. What's the second? Yeah. Yeah. Pineapple. Pineapple. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Thank you. That's good. Perfect. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Thanks. Hi. Okay, I got my pineapple and I got a crowd of people. So let's go. Thank you. The starting in a new country thing when we're not sure of the normal prices. We were in Hey. hey. <laughs> we were in we were in India for so long I started to know what a price of everything was basically. Coming to a new place you're starting all over again. So I definitely think I overpaid, but oh, yeah. you learn with time. Everyone this, this is unique. It's friends in the street. I, I didn't want to pre I didn't want to film anyone just in case like it's disrespectful, but this is really cool. They're all it's stopping and and praying. I'm sorry if I'm not supposed to. I'm going to show you though because I find it really interesting. Um, especially from someone who's not religious. I'm not religious, so this is really cool to me. That they're all stopped in front of the masjid and they're all watching and praying. I think that is, oh, sorry. I think that is awesome. That's really cool. Every, there's so many people. I wonder how long they do it for. Look at everyone. Yeah, there's carpets rolled out onto the street. All right, so that's it for just getting and arriving in Bangladesh. I have my very, <laughs> not very many pieces of pineapple, but I expect to see more of it in the next video. So welcome if you're new here. If you're from Bangladesh, leave me a comment down below and let me know where you're from. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.